What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 siege for you today. And this one is a 1v1 but with huge armies, well large armies. Um, and it's between Wallachia and the Carnate, I think they're the Carnate of uh, Volga, Bulgaria, I'm pretty sure they are. So it's two unusual factions, there you go, there's their flag, Wallachia's flag. Glorious in the wind. And so yes, it's starting with an ambush basically, so we have like... An army that's coming to relieve the uh, besiegers, but there is an army waiting for them in the woods here. So we've got a lot of Volga, Bulga, Volga, Bulgaria troops in it. Call them Volga. They're that horrible. But yeah, I mean, we've got lots of axes. We've got pole arms. These Siberian, these Siberian infantry have missile capability and also a pole arm. That is pretty damn awesome. We've got um, some heavy bow units in here, we've got cavalry, we've got all sorts. So it's going to be really exciting, so it's, we'll have a quick look at some of the Malaysian troops. It's about to start as the ambush, I'm told. But we've got like black peasants, these guys look like very Russian, look very cool. We've got militia spears here, we've got a sword unit here, which I will not mows any. Yeah, it's probably it's the closest you're getting. Makurikari, I have no idea how you say that. Some of these names are goddamn awful. Black Guardsman, I can pronounce that one though. Um, and then what have we got at the back here? We've got Militia Spears again. And we've got uh, Boiari at the back. So we've got some interesting units. What's the cab at the front? Oh, yeah, yeah, something I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Viteji? But yes, I do apologize that the last, uh, yesterday's, there was no video for yesterday. I decided I was going to have a, a day off. Um, just a little bit tired and uh, just didn't really fancy doing a video. I felt like if I was going to do a video to, uh, like yesterday, then it was going to be poor quality. So I decided I'd just take the day off. Um, so I did that. Um, but I'm back. And we are here with another great battle. As he says in his funny little voice. Um, funny little British voice. But yeah, it looks like they're not quite set up over here. This looks like they're sort of ready, but they're sort of not. I don't know. But here we go. So it looks like the troops are about to move out. Are they float? They look like they were floating. But yeah, I mean, look at these guys. They look awesome. To get ready to march out with their axes. They, they're going to do a lot of damage. I think this is... I don't think the Volga... No. I don't think Wallachia has got any uh, axes, axe units, like shock infantry units. So they're going to be at a bit of a disadvantage there. Which is good for... Uh, if you're rooting for Volga Bulgaria. So let me know in the comments who you're rooting for right now. If it's Volga Bulgaria, whether it's uh, Wallachia, whoever. Also, thank you for all the support at the moment, um, with all the likes, subscribes, and comments. Keep it up, guys. And, uh, yeah, just yeah, just keep it up and we can see where the channels go. Look at them. They're definitely trying to run to the, uh, to the um, fortress, I guess. I guess they're trying to get to that, uh, that gate over there. There's a few defences for them to worry about, but not too many. But... Yeah, here come the arrows. Volleys coming in. First volley and sign of ambush. Oh, that's a really good hit. They actually can't see them, really. I guess if they turned around, they might be able to, but they couldn't see them over this hill. There's just arrows coming in. What's he got over here? We've got a uh, general as well. And we've got Nafatoons. I didn't even see these guys. We have Nafatoons. Yes. Isn't a great battle if it hasn't got Nafatoons in it. That's, that is a... Uh, Siege battles need Nafatoons. Just makes it epic. Because you can see some spears turning around to defend while the rest of the army moves on. That's quite smart. We've got uh, swords starting to appear. I'd start sending forward infantry trying to catch the main line. Um, because otherwise they're going to get stuff inside. I'm, are these spears turned around as well? Yes, they are. Oh, these guys look really nice. Kermesh spearmen. Yeah, these are like medium spears. They look pretty damn awesome. I'm pretty sure he's trying to get his black peasants and stuff. Oh, these are Wallachian serfs. I swear there was another unit called black peasants. There, there they are. So there's some diff there's a different two units. Look, they are literally peasants. They have literally got no proper weapons. What are the difference then between these ones? Wallachian serfs. Are these just a different period? These are... Yeah, the, they're... They're early period. These are high period serfs. So let's see the difference. Absolutely no difference, but it's it's nice that they have have a difference, I guess, in peasants. Um, yeah, I'd definitely be focusing down on cavalry. This is a really good target. Certainly soften them up. I just start assaulting, like, these shock infantry units. They're going to be really good against these spears. But good to see the focusing down. I'd, yeah, don't focus any peasants down. They're not worth hitting. 
But here we go. So the infantry's clashing. Um, I mean, the spears are in shield wall. Um, I'd definitely be trying to get through this gap here. But um, apart from that, they're probably going to break through quite easily, these uh, guys. I mean, the combat even currently, they're shaken. That unit's shaken for some reason. Oh, flanks exposed. Okay. Ah, they do have shock infantry units. They have this unit of Macauri, which have basically got clubs. They are club men. And they're gonna surround the axemen though. They definitely need to do something about that. I mean, definitely just focus this unit down. You don't even need to surround it. Just fo look at that. That is disgusting. That unit is wavering instantly. I mean, they're actually wavering the Chermis axe unit. Axe unit as well. There you go. That should surely save their axe unit. But oh my gosh. That unit is gone. That's an early loss there for uh, Wallachia. Or Wallachia. Whatever you pr prefer to say. But I mean, yeah, we've got... Oh, these guys have archer capability as well. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be the case. We've got a lot of units. A lot of uh, cavalry have also horse archer ability. Um, yeah, they're sending spears back. There's also a little ambush force here. We've got more cavalry here. What's over here? More of the... Oh, Yori and those... Uh, the Asshole and Hashem. Yeah, they're not even looking the right way. Or some of them aren't. They're having a tea party or something. But yeah, these spears are starting to lose. You can see on all flanks against these archers. Against these archers. Against these uh, axes. But they are having archer support as well. Look, these guys have pole arm and archer ability as well. That is insane. I'm really glad that they have these like weird units. It makes them like... I would possibly now play as Wallachia. Because... Or will at you because you've got uh, spears and archers like pole arms and archers. That's a really cool and versatile unit. I'm sure it's not very good at either. It's just got the ability to do both. Look at that! The peasants breaking already. Oh no! Sorry if it's a little bit dark. Um, I can't really blame t take blame for that. Unfortunately, uh, it is. I think bright the brightness is fully up. Um, so. Imagine what it would be like if brightness was not fully up. But, um... It is a dark and dingy part of the world, I guess. Dark and dingy part of the world. As the axes chop away... Oh, poor man. Malicious spears are not gonna hold. They're not gonna hold. Defend the banner! We must break through. Oh, there you go. Yes, I mean, well, issues. Look at that. It's just. It's got cavalry now fighting on all fronts. To get those spears in there, they certainly help the cavalry fight. Um, they've got swords here. Look, they're just. Any u unit that flanks around is just getting focused by archers. They've got to take out any uh, archers if they want to do that. Oh, that cavalry charger. That's really good. Catching this sword unit off uh, guard. Didn't get many kills. And. Well, actually, here we go. The kills are going up now. I'd say this, uh, what's this? Kurtani. Oh no, it's, a, it's Hashem against Kurtani. Okay. It's a light melee unit against, like, a heavy shock uh, cav unit. That's not going to end well. And they've got spears here. I'd definitely be setting in a spear unit because I think these guys slowly over time might change it. Maybe they're heavy against light. They actually might not. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good. That's a pretty dire look for Wallachia right now. Got more pole arms coming up. Vlak Guardsmen. This is a really elite unit. Got Guardsmen the name. I'm presuming it's elite. I've never played as either of these factions. But really good to see the match being played for once on the channel. So yes, this was sent in by someone on the Discord. So if you do want to join the Discord and send in your own replays for me to then have a look at and maybe feature on the channel, then do join the link in the description below. And we'll have a look. Uh, and I'll have a look, don't worry. I do spend hours looking through replays often. They've all got weird hats on. They've got like weird furry hats, and then some of them have got like helmets. It's kind of cool. It, these are like the two most Russian like factions, or some of the most Russian like fa factions. Jeez, um, that is not looking good for that cavalry unit. Not at all.
And there he goes. I think that's that's breaking. And there's not much else out here that can really hold him. It's going to come down to the defenders now. Bounce power. It's in favour of um, Volga Bulgaria, but the numbers aren't massively different, and they have choke points. Does um, well, they sure he can use, and he's got a lot of units left. He's got Mozeni, he's got more of those pole arms. He's got yeah, archer spearmen. He's got crossbows. He's got a lot of archers like available to him if you count the spears as well. But yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good over here. The pole arms are doing okay though. Actually, they're not. They're looking the wrong way. God damn God. I mean, it'd be good if some halberdier units could form square. I don't think it'd be a bit overpowered, but and also definitely make them very prone to archer fire. But like in this scenario here, they just they're doomed. They're doomed. I think they got a small unit of swords holding defending their rear. Oh no, cavalry shouldn't have charged into that pole arms. Those pole arms. Get that. Out. Get out of there. Yeah, this is a mistake by the uh, Volga Bulgaria player. Didn't realise that there was pole arms here. You need to get some archers in there. Yeah, well, he's good. He's realised. He lost. He realised that the. I'm surprised that these serfs held so long. Or the black peasants. The serfs are long gone. Um, yeah, I'm surprised it took him that long to realise that that unit was uh, almost gone. Oh, we're nearly broken some pole arms here, though. That's huge. Some pole arms uh, breaking being lost. That's going to be big in just like breaking through choke points later on. If they are pole arms, I think they are. They might just be a, a Siberian infantry. They are apparently a light, but uh, a light pole arm unit. Look at this. Imagine being caught like caught in this circle here and just like, oh god. It's like almost like the Battle of the Bastards. These guys surrounded, just being pushed together, trampled. Yeah, it look, it's looking pretty nasty. The Black Guardsmen over here, they're actually still doing okay. These guys I definitely wouldn't have put in the uh, the ambush force. These guys could have been huge for the final defense. I do wonder whether they have any of them left. Just get some archers at this point. Just pull back, get archers. I know it's a bit of a waste of ammo on a unit that's kind of doomed. But it's, they're probably going to take a lot of your men with them. Does look like that. Look at them chopping down, chopping down axemen as they're actually getting chopped down themselves. It is a bit of a, I don't know, one one axeman dies, one guardsman dies. It's not. It's a bit of a fair trade. That looks awesome. Just look at those bloodied up like troops. It's nasty. So many axes. They're all waving in the air, just like looking for a head to just fall their axe in, like throw their axe into. Throw your axe? You don't throw your axe into someone. Slam their axe. That's a better way of putting it. It's throw your axe. Then you've got no axes left. You're only bringing one axe with you, unless you pick someone else's up. Yes, yeah, so over here there's a bit of a concern. The formation is kind of getting pressed back. Not looking so good. Oh, here come the arrows. I'd fall back troops so you're not getting friendly fire. Are they, uh, they're wavering now, finally. They've lost a whole 60 men before they decided, yeah, that's a good idea. And here we go, they're breaking. This looks really cool though. I mean, look at that. That is... That is... I'm surprised these guys have held so long though. Come on, like... This is ridiculous. Break, Guardsman. Break. 
They've only lost another, like, 12 men since we last, like, tabbed out. Jeez. Get archers on them, I swear to God, if they don't use archers now. I mean, or just attack them from the rear like this. Attack them from the rear, wait till they realise, and then just charge them with this axe unit again. Because this axe unit is doing awful. These halberdiers, jeez, they are doing nasty. There we go. We'll take a screenshot while we're waiting. That was a really good one. That just looks awesome. While we wait for this unit to die, I'll take a screenshot and we'll uh, see off the glorious... The glorious guardsmen as they die. What have we got over here? We've got a bombard. It's on three gold chevrons. Does it really need to be on three gold chevrons? Black guardsmen. There they go. Finally dead. Finally dead. What? Oh, what came out over here? Was this just a unit that they caught? Or did this actually... I don't know. This unit might have got away. Either way, it's just been charged down by cavalry. Excellent. Okay, so that's good. Well, good for good for Volga Bulgaria. They got this unit. I think it might have been trying to get back inside. Look at that. That's that man. He's got a... That looks like a furry tail on his head. He's got some sort of raccoon tail on his head or something like that. What's that man doing there with this raccoon on his tail on his head? Raccoons are in danger. Actually, no, raccoons are awful. Get rid of them. Beavers. It might be a beaver thing. Racco kill the raccoons if you've got any, but I mean... I don't think so. It'd be like some weird, weird vermin thing. What have we got here? Okay, that's basically... That's basically the ambush stage complete. So I think I'm going to probably make a cut. Um, and gonna cut till the like when the assault starts and so I'll see you guys in a moment when the assault actually begins okay so we are back and the assault has begun we have troops onto the wall um, we they've all they did was really take out some towers and um, with their artillery in that time they obviously got their siege towers up uh, and that's kind of all they did uh, how much ammo does the, the bombard actually doesn't have massive ammo left what's it trying to take out more towers, perhaps? Yeah, it's taking out this tower, I think, so this uh, small unit can go up here on its own. We have another assault force that is going to be coming up over here, but I think this one's a bit delayed. Um, and that's just only got two ladders. Should be enough. And they've only got a couple of units of spear militia here. They've got some swords. But that should be enough to hold them off. Oh, there's a nice little ramp up here they haven't seen, I guess. They could definitely get up here and get round. That's very nice. But it looks like... Um, does look like... They're going to just take a little bit of time, get inside, and assault. What is it? Probably more militia over here, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, shield wall. I'd send in axes again. Axes did a good job last time. Let's get their perspective. Look at this. They're just all getting ready. What have we got here? Chermish spearmen. Chermish spearmen. We've got pole arms back there as well, Siberian infantry. We've got actually quite a lot of units that are wavering. I'd send them in first just to die. Why um, hold on to them? But looks like the spears are going to get sent in first and shield wall themselves. There they are in the distance. Left, right, left, right. I wonder where Chermish is, or if it, or is it just a type of people? Might be just just a type of people that Volga Bulgaria has under its rule. But look at that! Oh, long line, long line. Oh, I hate that. I think it's just like something there. Just deny the camera, but that is better. That's awesome. Just go in, just go in. Oh, no, no. Yep, here they go. Final, finally decided this is it. And in they go. I'm going to say maybe by numbers. Well, actually, we'll come out on top of that. Um, no, not by numbers. Um, not, well, actually, either. It's Volga Bulgaria. Volga Bulgaria, with, by numbers, will come out on top. Unless, obviously, we'll actually put some more troops in. Well, actually, it is in Shield War. What's this? I hear troops being sent up. More archer spears. Okay. I did find another guardsman unit as well, so they've got hope. But then there's a guardsman unit around with a black guard. 
there's always a chance of victory. I mean, balance of power is saying victory is very unlikely, but it is possible. Over here we have another charge. It looks like Axeman over this side. This has a lot more chances of success. Oh, Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have taken a day off. One day off and uh, I become an invalid. Um, but yeah, so it looks like this will have more success over here. Um, the Axeman will just break through the spear line quite easily. Quite easily, you imagine. Arrows flying in overhead. Well, they focus, this is not a bad unit to focus down. Spear unit with arch capability. I can only that doesn't look like it has any shielded. Yeah, it doesn't have any shields. Really good unit. So I'd definitely be sending these guys in. I can't, I would have thought they could have got a guy around here. Maybe like a unit in column formation get around here possibly. Maybe not. Um, I'd send in the rest of the axes that are wavering though, and the spears. Um, looks like they are sending them in slowly. This is looking nasty though. This is a good angle. These black... Oh, black guard archers. This is a very good unit then. I only know that because it says guard. They can barely see the unit though. But they are focusing down on this Chermish Axe unit. Volley! Yes, yes. This is actually not a bad uh, angle also. Is this gunners? No, black crossbows. Ah, nice. I don't think they're actually firing. Yeah, they've got their view obstructed. They'd be better going after that unit over there, that spear unit, because they can actually see that unit. Why? Crossbows are great, but you have to put them on a wall, mount them on a wall. Otherwise, they usually just don't do anything. Oh, it looks like these um, bow you the spear unit might fire. It looks like it was going to fire. I don't know. Nafatoon's being kept long way, a long way back. Um, the speed is actually starting to, uh, to lose, as expected. It is against axes. Another spear unit being sent in. This is like in a sort of a shield wall. Oh my gosh, that is nasty. Almost in this dark, dingy world again. It's not very light. I, I, can't, I do apologize, but no sun in Siberia, I guess. Which is where most of these men seem to come from. But if the uh, defenders can hold them here, this is two really good spots to hold them. I mean, I'd start mobilizing these other units, like this unit over here. I'd get this up on the wall, and it's certainly going to draw away more forces. And this is a really big choke point to defend. Or you could go this way. I'd certainly be sending this one forward, this army forward. They've got cavalry here as well. Yeah, I'd certainly send up this army. Two units of spears, and this is far too much ground to defend with four units. I'm definitely sending that unit, that army up now. Well, that's small force. Maybe there's a timer on when they can send that unit up. Maybe they have to wait a certain amount of time. These Hyperion's actually firing, then. It's apparently you're firing, but unless you're firing spears, there you go. Oh my gosh! All of a sudden, they just dropped their spears and their, ar their uh, arrows just flew out of their bows. Obviously, where else would they fly out of? It's looking goddamn epic. Spears versus spears. It's like the slowest battle ever. Need to get well. Archers are being sent in uh, to well to shoot stuff down more effectively from Wallachia than uh, from Volga Bulgaria. This is a really big gap as well. You could get a unit through here. Have they got anything around? You could send the spear unit through. Um, have they got any axes? They got the axe unit here. They're running out of infantry actually quite quickly. Um, on this side, anyway. They've got plenty of infantry on the other side that they could start setting up. I mean, at the same time, so is... Um, well, actually. I mean, they've got plenty of archers left. Those guard archers, I'm sure, can fight well. But yeah, if you can get through this gap here with an axe unit or maybe a spear unit, surround. Obviously, it will make them very vulnerable to other archers, but they don't seem to have many other archers. And now archers are get these archers are getting focused down by, uh, well, the hordes that are out here. Look at that. These are black crossbows, black guard archers. We will block out the sun 
with our arrows. And they literally have because there is no sun. It's just so dull here today. It's like what Britain looks like on most days if it's not... Well, the sun's over there, but it's hidden. Yeah, that actually is Britain. The sun is here, but it's hidden by the clouds. Um, I don't know if he's supposed to be sending up this archer unit yet. No, I didn't think so. But one spear unit has broken, and now we're down to archer spears. I don't know how good these guys are in combat. I presume they're probably a little worse off than normal spears because they don't have a shield, and they have also have archer capabilities. So I'm sure that like nerfs their melee ability. Well, certainly that guy's melee ability. He just got his head chopped in. Or his neck. He was killed. He was killed. Oh, dear. Speech is like zero at the moment for Pope. Oh, here we go. Pole arms coming in. Siberian infantry coming into the front line. I don't know if these guys will be able to set up properly because they've... Uh, oh, my gosh. This is just harrowing. The amount of arrows. Where are they even firing from now? Oh, here. Katani foot archers. We've not seen these guys before. What do these guys look like? Ooh. Yes, they kind of look... They look slightly Middle Eastern a little bit. I don't know why. But they do also... They give off a vibe of, like, sort of Eastern, like, Corsicus area, maybe. Maybe a bit further north. Maybe. But they do look awesome. They're doing a nasty job to those palms. Look, they've lost so many men. I like how they've actually managed to focus on the Siberian infantry unit, though it is very much bobbed in here with so much other stuff. And they're wavering. They're having real trouble on this side. This side they're doing okay. They are starting to actually uh, have, make some dents. I just focus down here. See if they keep plugging. You just gotta keep piling stuff in here and just hope that they uh, they eventually give in. Oh, have they broken? They have broken that guard archer unit. That is huge. Uh, well, actually, I might have needed that unit for, well, A, to shoot. I, I'm pretty sure it had a lot of ammo left as well, didn't it? It did. It had about half ammo left. I'm sure they were good in combat, and also they needed it to, like, fire on. But, I mean, these crossbows now have a really good angle. Look at them. Pew, 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 pew. With the, with the banner of Wallachia here looking at excellent. I'm definitely going to interchange between Wallachia and Wallachia, but... Because some people will say it's one, and some people will say it's another. And maybe neither is right. Maybe it's something unpronounceable that none of us ever knew. No, it probably is one or the other. Easier to take no side. Fight on, indeed. Um, this is a more interesting fight, mainly because there's more people dying to big axes. Oversized axes, which no one needs. Excellent. Have, um, since we just, I know we just le left that area. Yes, okay, I was wondering, had these guys actually landed? They have. Okay, they're going to hold them here. Not a bad place to hold, but you can use the towers against um, the attackers. And especially since these are uh, axe unit, they're probably, like, the towers are going to do a lot of damage. Have they got any more units of towers or, like, anything like that to flank around with? No, they don't. This unit is also now coming up. Excellent. Um, the Bombard, I'd start getting it in, like, over here to get inside. Or to fire on, like, units all the way back here. But yeah, this is a huge, uh, move. They can flank around this unit, and they've actually broken through here now. I think mainly because they realized that they were going to get flanked. In that case, I would, uh, maybe send the, the ladder over here. Flank around over there. That's excellent. Excellency, they are breaking more stuff. They are through. And these swords... They were okay, the medium swords, um, but this is a better defense for, like, this is a good unit for pole arms to come and take out. They've got plenty of them left as well, jeez. Are they all the same tier? They are all the same tier, okay. Oh, they've got plenty of reserves left. I think well, Wallachia might have this. That's me, I'm going to put that in, I'm going to put that in, bet in, Wallachia has got this. I think he's got enough men. They've got far too much cavalry left as, um... In fairness though, they could actually bring the cavalry in and start doing some sally... Some, um... Charges. I'd start doing some charges on, like, this sword unit here. Get the cavalry inside. But they are winning this fight here. This is, a uh, This is a concern. It's where they can link up these two armies. Because this is now where I think where all the infantry is... Basically, all the hopes for the infantry lays. Sorry, I was trying to look over there and see, like, at the, uh, hill, but... We'll look at that later. 
What are they using for like a shield? Is it just like a woven shield? It is. It's like Eastern Spearman style. From like Rome 2 and well and Attila actually. Not quite sure how it would make that sound if you hit it against uh hit that shield, but we'll take it. Oh, that's huge. They've actually broken this militia, militia spear unit. Right, they need to get a move on and send these guys up. They're just getting focused down now by arrows. Oh, what's this? Kurtani Farges. It's these guys again. Or is it have they got more of them? They have more of them. These guys just keep appearing from places. I I think Malaysia has got this. He's got so many men left, they just keep appearing. He's basically got a full army still going. Yeah, Mozeni. These guys are going to be nasty. I don't think they've got enough. Like, he's only got axes over here. He hasn't got any spears. I mean, these archers might be okay. Actually, they're heavy bow infantry. They probably are okay in combat. Um, but these two units need to get a move on. They're just dying here for no reason. And he's allowed these swords to get up. So that's annoying. Um, what they, they probably destroyed? Yeah, the ones at the gate. Okay, that's okay then. Um, are they sending up? No, they're not sending up their infantry. They're just firing on them though. Over here, we're gonna have the first clash of infantry into the swords, the Mo Mozeni or whatever they're called. These axes are just like it's probably knackered. Absolutely knackered. Actually, I don't know if this is a fresh unit. It is a fresh unit. Jeez. Well, we've got more pole arms, more Siberian infantry. I just use all the archers first, surely. Use every arrow. He's got this unit over here as well. It's just not been sent up yet. Maybe he's holding it in reserve. I'd certainly use it maybe to commit over here. If you break through this choke point, you can cut off most of their army over here in this small, like, little passage. And you can just push up. You need, they need to make a huge push. They can go up here, around here, and they can get to the main capture point. A unit is running from the enemy. Cavalry inside, though, that's good. They are actually going to do some uh, charges on them. That's really good. Smart. The cavalry's only going to be good for this now, so you just got to keep charging in. Cycle charge. That's what I was looking for. Cycle charge in. And you can kill plenty of these guys. Plenty. Look at them. Bodies on the floor. And now they're sending axes in. Hmm. Oh, they're going to send their own cavalry in. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh. Nope. Don't pull back. These guys have got ar arrows. They'll focus you down. No, you've got to send those guys in. This cavalry. I'd send it up again. Send it, give it another charge up here. They're going to risk their general. That's a big risk. Oh, we've got more guard archers. They just seem to, more stuff seems to appear for Wallachia. I'm sure there's like, I don't know. Loads of stuff appear on this hill we can't see. Our walls are under attack. Walls are under attack. No idea. No idea. This unit here is breaking though, Chermish Axeman. Is that breaking up? Oh, I th no, that's not. Okay, I thought that was it's the militia spear breaking. I thought it was the Axeman. I was like, jeez. But yeah, look at this. This unit has been allowed to stand here and die. It's a bit of a waste. Um, just send it in. You better just send it in. These Katani foot archers as well have shields. They actually could be quite good in combat. Oh, they're not having a fun time over here with these uh, infantry against the Mozeni and the archer support. It's going to be when they run out of ammo. That's how they're going to have to win this as um, Volga Bulgaria. It's going to be close. As they fight amongst the trees. Siberian infantry just getting focused down. And both these units are so prone to arrows. You've got to send something up that's got shields. Oh, jeez, so many dead. I, and they've got to get through to that guardsman unit. That's what I'm more worried about. You know, they can't. This is not a bad idea. You got to just focus down. Get your archers. Get your infantry back. Just let the archers come up and do this damage and kill these Kurtani foot soldiers or foot archers. It looks awesome. It does look awesome. Mozeni. Do another cycle charge. They're just going to stand here. Just cycle charge him. Also scare the archers. They actually nearly got through here. Finally. They've actually nearly broken through over here. Oh, just for another unit of swords to come up. Jeez. This is this battle here is going to take forever. And they've had to send up more infantry of their own. More spears. I think they're out. They're out of infantry, basically. This is one more. I'd start sending up these Nafatoons, um Once these crossbows have like spent their ammo. 
Send the Nafatoons up. You could break through all this so much quicker. Like, that is one of the only things that they've got left, which is kind of like a sort of a... A card up their sleeve sort of thing, I guess you'd call it. Oh, guy just getting chopped down. More axes coming in. Jeez. Yeah, you got to pile in the axes. Just pile in. Not too many. This is probably an ample amount. But look at this unit here. I mean, yeah, send, you might as well send this in. Just going to focus down and kill. But this flank has already been nullified, basically. Because of this Kurtani foot arch unit. I'm excited to see how many men th these guys have killed. They've killed a ridiculous amount of these archers. Oh, these archers. Axemen. But yeah, get these archers up here. Focus these guys down. I mean, that is the benefit, I guess, that these guys are heavy bow infantry. So they are probably quite good in, in uh, combat. Oh, we have the bombard. That's hit something. That did hit something. Oh, it's going for these uh, infantry, I think. You better get in that inside and trying to focus down, like, I don't know. Again, try and focus down some of these, like, breaches here. Oh, they've got bows in here already as well. They're actually doing okay. Apparently, they're beating these guys. Um, the Kotani uh, archers are light bow infantry, so maybe they won't. Don't think they'll be as good in combat. Why are they focusing down, though? Just any Okay, this, this unit here, this is not a bad unit to focus down, actually. Jeez. They're breaking. Oh, look at all the civilians coming out. <laughs> like, who destroyed our house? How dare they? That's actually quite funny. Didn't even realize that happened. Oh, that was a bad hit, though. That one definitely, like, went and hit their own men, I think. Jeez. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hear the artillery. It's hitting somewhere else. It's their own men. This is good. Now you can flank this sword unit. It's finally come down off this like choke point here. You can flank it and surround it. I know the cavalry and archers will be able to get it, but then they've got very little over here. It's another unit of swords you can get rid of. Yeah, this art this artillery is not doing a good job now. It needs to stop firing here. It needs to start firing at like the guardsmen over here, maybe. They're still not able to break through here. Jeez. These these crossbows, I'm sure, have got so many kills as well. They're not all firing, but only a couple are, but. They can barely see anything as well. Like, jeez, they're firing at like a tiny line of infantry. Oh gosh, fire arrows. Watch out! Hey, they are fighting girls today. I'd say that Volga Bulgaria, no offense to the player, I think Volga Bulgaria is... I don't know, he's not been awful, he's just been a bit unlucky I guess. He did kill off a huge amount of their army outside here and did pretty well. Maybe could have taken a few less losses. Um, who knows. I think it's a bit late on letting this army uh, attack. Maybe. Oh, we've got archers over here. Like, now as they've got cavalry out, you need to get these cavalry to actually combat the uh, general. Like, this cavalry here will probably beat that general. Like, this flank's now gone. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be the flank that saved the day. But these, uh, these archers might beat this infantry. You never know. Depends if they get surrounded by cavalry, which they might be about to happen because this bow infantry is not looking so good. It is losing decisively. Cavalry is, uh, yeah, winning decisively. And it has infantry support. I'm certainly sending in the cavalry here for, like... Can they get through there? Yes, they can. They sort of can, yeah. They're going to kind of push through those guys, but they have surrounded the general. That is huge. Obviously, it's now going to make them a big risk to archers. But also, like, they could shoot their own general. Um, there we go. He's now combat even. If they could win this combat here, then they could get the archers to fire into the general as well. And that would be huge. Um, infantry is about to go as well. That is losing sizably. Yeah, this... They probably are hitting a lot of, their, uh, of these guys. But they're also probably hitting the general. Chop them down, break through men. It's those goddamn Katani foot arches. They are. Yeah, looking at the arrows, most of them are actually missing and going over the top. I'm sure that isn't the case, and quite a lot are still hitting, because that's a point blank range. You cannot miss. Oh, that is nasty, yeah. Quite a lot of uh, cavalry getting hit now. 
Is the general feeling... He's not feeling okay, though. He is not feeling okay at all. Everyone in this area here is losing. <laughs> I like that. But this, the guardsmen are coming up. Oh, no. I start firing the bombard again. I don't know how the bombard is, like, getting an angle from this, uh, from this range, but okay. They're breaking over here as well. This is not good for, uh... For Wallachia. I thought Wallachia had this, but he's he's losing. He's losing units. I shouldn't have bared Wallachia. These archers, though, I mean, this is not what they're having to send in. That is a bit of a concern. Like, the amount of bodies under here is going to be insane. They are making, like, a hill of the bodies. You can see where the, uh, like, these guys are stood slightly higher. They're making a hill. Oh, the bannerman's down. No. Pick up the banner. These crossbows are still not out of ammo as well. Jeez. And they've broken through. They have broken through. I mean, they are going to slowly break quite quickly again, but they need to get more guys through here. Archers, uh, just get through. We'll focus down more stuff. This is all wavering. This could all break. Um, these black guard archers having to turn around. They're literally like turning around like, which way do we fire? Our general's under threat. Oh, the cavalry did go. The general's still losing, though. The general is still losing. I guess he is shocking cavalry. He's been in here a long time. Has he dismounted his cavalry? He has. He dismounted the cavalry. That's a bizarre move. Enemy general is dead. Oh, that is huge. I think, yeah, Wallachia is surely, like, finished now. General has just died. Oh, yeah. This is not good. Um, this flank over here, not looking so good. They might finally break through over here now because stuff's finally on. Are they literally just, they are dismounting cavalry to use as infantry now. Oh my gosh. I'd have kept on cavalry, like the cavalry on their horses because they could do some cycle charges and they break through these guys a lot quicker. They've got plenty of archers left. Plenty of archers left. They've got, they've got uh, horse archers. Are they actually going to use horse archers? They dismounted horse archers and going to use them as basic archers. Oh no, not quite yet. The bombard, so they haven't even used the Nafatoons. Get the Nafatoons in here. Now would be a brilliant time to use the Nafatoons. If he doesn't use the Nafatoons, it's a 6 out of 10 battle from me. No, it's been an excellent battle. It's been very close. Um, still is. Oh, more Guardsmen coming up. Thing is, though, these Guardsmen haven't got a brilliant place to hold. Like, they can hold here, and the swords can hold here, but... It's not as good as the last one. Actually, the last one was in an open field. It was not great either. Um, how these archers not, like, killed these black crossbowmen? They're not even worth focusing down now. They're nearly out of ammo. You're better focusing down. There's something back here to hit. Yeah, hit these swords. I'm surprised they still haven't broken through over here. They are slowly breaking these uh, Mozeni, but... Ever so slowly. Like, I would have thought the general, like, dying, like... This army's, like, well, actually, his army is exhausted. Fighting on all fronts. And there we go. I think something's breaking. Or no, he's sent it in closer. Or no, it's broken. Mozeni had broken. Wow. And they broke there as well. So they can surround this side's open now. That is a real concern. That is a real concern. More archers in here now. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just... They are basically fighting archers, though, at this point. They, I mean, they were... Oh, the guardsmen. They're going to have to go over there, aren't they? These guardsmen unit can make or break this <laughs> defense. Here comes a load of dismounted uh, cavalry. There's more dismounted cavalry. Just fights over here. Just charge with cavalry through here. They have got no general now. One charge from shock, at, shock cavalry probably will break most of this, most of these guys. I know you want infantry to fight in a choke point, but you, all your infantry just died and uh, fighting in choke points. Don't need more dying. Jeez, I thought this choke point was going to be the first to go. It's so much bigger to hold than the other one, but well, I guess it's not really. I thought you could go around here. Definitely thought you could do that. More swords appearing. I like how they just have more stuff appearing. I just start firing at these guys with your bows. It's a bit cheesy, but... Why would you charge with archers into this unit? It's going to form shield wall. 
Just shoot them with arrows. Shoot them with arrows. Yeah, here you go. Shield wall. Oh no, are they coming down the hill? I guess they have to, because otherwise they will shoot at them. There we go. Well, let's have a look. Are they going to charge? Can see they're flanking around us, sir. As they come forward slowly in shield wall. Oh gosh! And yeah, they're in combat now. Insane, insane. It's actually been really close in the end. Those crossbows and armor have desperately come down. They've actually got two chevrons from the start of this battle. Jeez. Yeah. Here you go. Stuff's starting to break. Uh, this is a fresh unit of swords, though. But they're breaking a lot quicker than they used to. Um, here we go. Nafatoon's coming in. I think they're out of ammo for everything anyway. I mean, they've got very little with these black guard archers, but they're using it all up on, like, the other archers. Mozeni coming in. Oh, look at that. Wavering at 131. That is a big concern. That is a big concern. Chop away at them, boys. Chop away. He's just got an arrow in his head. Chilling there with an arrow in his head. This unit is actually going to break everything over here. I'm telling you, this choke point here, it's just unbeatable. You can't break it. Whoever goes in here will stand. And they've killed, like, hundreds of men here. So many men died here. Get the Nafatoons up. I swear to God, if they don't send the Nafatoons to just blow these guys up. It's the only way you're going to get rid of them. Yeah, they're running away because they see Nafatoons coming. Shoot them in the back as they run. Yes. What else have they got over here? More crossbow. Oh, the crossbows, which have no ammo. Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Here you go. They're now getting focused down these light guard archers. They've got ever so slightly got some ammo left. Was any running for the hills? I'm just going to speed it up for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the battle because it looks like well, there's stuff fighting over here, but I mean the battle's basically finished. Well, actually, is going to lose that general like dying was actually probably what, all that did it. Like they were going to probably hold. They had done that. They had very little ammo left, which, like I said earlier, I think was also probably going to be a big decider. Yeah, there they go. They're using the last of their ammo up here. Um. Okay, are they actually going to throw their Nafatoons? Go on, I please throw your Nafatoons. You brought Naf what throwers for a reason, man. <gasps> please, yes. Oh, yes. I know I've got it in fast forward, but. That was nasty. Down to 84 from like a fresh unit. It's actually going down still. And here we go. Cavalry coming in. These crossbows stand no chance. I'm surprised they actually survived like they carried on after the Naf Nafatoons threw. Jeez. There we go. Uh, and they're getting surrounded like ever so slightly. The cavalry's coming up. It's going to get these uh, guard archers. We've got more cavalry here. I like how they just dismounted it all. They could have definitely done a lot more damage and a lot quicker if they just mount kept it all mounted. They had no spears left. They had some uh, guardsmen, but just shoot archers at them. Even like mounted or dismounted, they're going to make no difference against guardsmen. And then, yeah, this unit's gone now. These guard archers just like survived so long. Um, cavalry here, Siberian cavalry. Are they going to fall up? Yeah, they are. The black guardsmen going up here. They're just going to try and hold and hide in this corner. We'll speed up again. Uh, I think these guys might actually just chain route before they even get here. I think it might. These two units might break, and these ones might just break through chain route. Well, actually, it looks like Volga Bulgaria is going to break first. But hey, oh, this could be good. Um, Siberian, one last great cavalry charge. Siberian cavalry. Oh, go on, do it, please. I beg. Into the back of them. Into the back. Yes. Charge them down. And that's the end of that Mozeni unit, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And, 
Yeah, they're all wavering now. I think if they even get like just slightly close, they're going to break. Yeah, they've just broke like that. So there we go. A Peric victory indeed. Excellent from uh, Volga Bulgaria in the end. I thought he didn't have it. I thought at some point I was like, he's just losing so many axes. But just about did it. So well done to uh, Sachex who's playing as Volga Bulgaria. Um, he played pretty, pretty damn well in the end. Look at the amount of men. He brought like so many polar. I thought he brought more than that in pole arms, but apparently not. His Naf Nafatoon's going to get in 64. Didn't use enough of their ammo up. <laughs> they needed more ammo being used. Um, but yeah, and then well done as well to uh, Jaku. Uh, I definitely pronounced that probably wrong, but there you go. There you go. That happens. But there you go. There are the results. If you want to have a look at them, you can do. But if you enjoyed Legionnaires, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment as well if you want to um, show your support or if there's any battles that you'd like me to try and reproduce or whatever. But until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys.